Two weeks to go, Sam. Two weeks to go, buddy. I'm going home. Looks like we got a live one. I'm gonna go out. Okay, Sam. Imagining things. What's going on? Where did he come from? Why does he look like me? You've been up here too long, man. You've lost your marbles. Two weeks, two weeks, two weeks. I don't understand what's happening. This is my mind. I want to go home. I know. This is my review for Moon, released in 2009. I do like a good sci-fi, and the idea and plot of this film had me interested. Then I found out that Sam Rockwell was in it, and well, I just had to see it. As I've mentioned before, I think Rockwell is one of the most consistently brilliant actors working today, and in Moon, it's perfect proof of that. The film could have been uh, pretty boring, however, it's really not. It's, sm it's a smart, methodical and focused film that has something to say and says it brilliantly. It's eerie. It's not so much scary that it's just this sense of paranoia and fear all over the film. I might be reading too much into it or getting into it too much, but like when Sam Rockwell would, would be walking around the base and stuff, the base felt like a character in itself. I could imagine all the dark corridors, all the different rooms we never saw, or almost haunted house feel to it. One convention of the sci-fi space film is there has to be an uh, in-house robot or computer that can talk to you. Um, I really like what they did with uh, the robot in this film though. Voiced brilliantly by Kevin Spacey, a brilliant piece of casting in itself, you know, Rockwell, Rockwell aside, Kevin Spacey is, you know, a great piece of casting. Um, the robot, Gertie, um, is part of the ship. However, not stationary computer screen uh, like most of them are. He can move as he is attached to the roof um, of the base and moves along a rail or track on the roof. Uh, so it has a set path but it can move. This was a great idea I felt as it allowed it to have more character and personality but keeping it attached to the station's roof it still felt like part of the interior and the body of the ship and technology but in a way that wasn't limiting. So let's talk about Sam Rockwell. I do hope he gets an Oscar nomination um, for this performance. As the trailer reveals he finds a man who looks just like him and so Sam Rockwell plays each one brilliantly and nuanced. You really feel his disillusion, desperation and sadness but also for the situation he is, he is in he is pretty fairly upbeat at times and a guy that tries to look on the bright side. The cinematography is top notch, beautiful shots, it's slow and calculating but stylish at the same time. The film starts slow and builds to a brilliantly gripping conclusion. All in all, this is one of the finest sci-fi movies of the decade. It's almost a throwback to the more intellectual, less frills, more questions sci-fi of the 60s and 70s. In a world of aliens, monsters and little green guys, this movie has to be respected for letting the setting and the fear be space, space is the enemy, technology is the enemy, and in some ways, man is the enemy. I want to go home. I know.